White is one of the uh, few colors that have a lot of people have difficult painting. Uh, white and black tend to uh, be most problematic along with red, but we're discussing white right now. Uh, there's two ways to paint white. Uh, you can do warm white or cool white. Warm white has um, a brown as a base and tends to look better if you're doing a um, something like a dirty white. Something they think use white but's used and abused. Uh, white on the battlefield tends to look better if it's warm. Uh, then you also have cool white which if you think more like a fluorescent lighting that's like a cool light. It has a, a blue tinge to it. Uh, I tend to reserve that for something that's going to be a really clean, pure white, uh, something more uh, angelic. Uh, I think it looks kind of out of place in a in a battlefield, but you can use whatever you like. Um, working off, uh, starting with a, a warm white here for this guy. This is a uh, Rafkin, yes, Rafkin the embalmer from the Malifaux range. He's got a He's a surgeon, he's got an apron on, and I wanted a dirty white because it's, it's an operating uh, smock. So it's going to be bloody and dirty and filthy. So I'm going with a warm white here. And um, starting with, I had it here a second ago, there we go, uh, some khaki, model color khaki. And that's mainly um, just to sort of outline the shape, pick it out from everything else, and also to build up for my uh, black primer undercoat. Um, if you're thinking that if you prime with white um, and you think that's the only way to paint white, um, well, it's not the only way. Um, it it saves about a step. If you're painting uh, priming, painting white over white primer, bleh, then you maybe possibly can skip this step so to save yourself a minute or two. But um, I always prefer black and I always prefer to work from the darkest to the lightest. So this is what I'm doing. And let's just get to it. Again, this is probably uh, going to get entirely covered. But it gives me a good base to start with. And also the model color covers extremely well. So this will cover up a majority of the black while at the same time defining the area that needs to be uh, painted white. With the khaki dry, the next step is uh, a rocky sand. This is going to be my main shade color with the khaki uh, just as an outline. Uh, you can also use something like a bone. Um, the theme color bone white. I prefer the Iraqi sand because the model color just covers a lot better than the uh, the game color paint or most bone color paints. So this will, since I need to cover up virtually all the khaki, that's what I'm doing. Now uh, I'm probably gonna quite haven't decided yet. Probably gonna go for more of an off white for this uh, particular figure, but. Uh, it's kind of the benefit of starting with a darker color. I can change my mind basically at any paint stage. So if I do decide for an off-white or a more of a pure white, I can simply stop or just keep painting uh, extra steps. So the Iraqi sand is applied, and now I'm going to start working in white, starting with a mix, 50-50 mix of white and Iraqi sand. And again, I don't know how far I'm going, how white I'm making this at this moment, but uh, I'll just keep adding more layers and adding more white to the mix uh, until I'm, I'm happy with this particular figure. So first one will be 50-50 mix, next one maybe 75-25, and, and we'll go from there. Uh, Two things about white I forgot to mention. Uh, first of all, is I'm always talking about contrast. You know that really what makes parts of the model stand out. The rough. The rough rule is the more contrast, the better. Uh, however, with white and black, um, you don't want contrast because um, you just don't get those with those uh, that very light or very dark colors. It it'll look very uh, strange. 
And the other thing is make sure you use very thin paint. A lot of people try to put white over just like a black primer. And um, so they'll put it on just straight out of the bottle thinking thicker paint will help cover it faster. And uh, with light colors, uh, thick paint, you know, it'll just end up caking on the surface and everything will look really chunky. So extremely thin, do everything in repeated layers rather than just one thick one. So decided this is going to be the final white step. Uh, this isn't quite pure white I'm using. This is, if you can, I don't know if you can tell the difference on camera. Where is it? There it is. This is pure white right here. This is the mix I'm using right now. It's probably a, uh, oh, I don't know, 90-10 mix, roughly. I'm just making sure it is, once again, very, very thin. And applying it where needed. Okay, so there you go. That is warm white. Uh, I suppose technically you might be able to call this a slightly off white since I didn't go to 100% white um, with the final coat. Um, however, if you want it to be closer to white, you simply just uh, need to add a few more steps or um, skip skip a few steps and add more white to those steps. So rather than starting with a 50-50 mix, start with a you know, 60-40 mix of white and uh, rocky sand or whatever your slightly darker off-white color is going to be. But uh, that's it. Uh, if you do uh, prefer to uh, use a white primer to begin with, uh, the other method you can do uh, for painting white is to do this in reverse. Uh, start with a white base coat and then apply these colors in um, using apply them as a wash using a very uh, carefully applied uh, spot wash using you can probably get away with just I would probably use a rocky sand maybe mix in a tiny drop of the khaki um, and do it that way as one or two washes and you should get roughly the same results um, but I do prefer working up uh, from black all the way up to uh, white which as you see can be done. And here's the final results with the warm white. Can't see it too well because of all the blood. Um, and I know people are going to ask. So the blood is um, just a whole bunch of tiny little spots and a few washes done with three different uh, colors of red. Uh, I think it was hull red, uh, model color hull red, model color flat red, and then some game color gory red and uh, it actually came out better than I thought. I don't like painting blood so I don't do it that often but uh, eh, I kinda like it. So there you go, uh, painting warm white and uh, shortly we'll have uh, painting cool white. Thanks for watching.